Hi guys, good evening, how are you? Welcome back. How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Good, are you ready? Are you ready for your English class? Hello Hugo, hello Wilfredo, hello Alex. Hello, teacher. Hi, how Good are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, five. Thank you, teacher. All right, let's do it. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. So today we're going to get started with section number four. Broccoli is for you. By the end of this class, we're going to look at section 4.0. Section 4.0, this section right here. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream. Butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, Cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains. Bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers, and think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese.
Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to write 10 sentences here in the discussion forum. Van a escribir por lo menos 10 oraciones expresando la comida que te gusta y la que no te gusta. Aquí en el discussion forum. We are going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Pero cada quien lo tiene que hacer en su plataforma. Let's go. Trabajar es que acabo de entrar a la Igual, plataforma. Igual, yo acabo de entrar. Eh, según veo la pantalla, estamos... Espera, déjame... Que yo no me he podido conectar. La, otra, la semana pasada no me pude. Bueno. Por ejemplo, la... no me gusta lo... lo, lo, lo... La azúcar, así muy dulce, no, las cosas dulces no me gustan. I don't like candy. Uh -huh. Vaya, como... Sí, Vaya. Quiero ver, sería, I don't like sugar, ¿verdad? Sí. Hay que tener la iris. Vamos a ver. Este es la uno. Eh, I like chips. I like chips. Cheese and cream. ¿Qué es la crema? O leche. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. No, 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 no. Podemos poner también con chi y verdad, no solamente con yo. Mm, híjole, ahí sí, no, no sé si, si vamos a poner eso. Ay, yo creo que hay que agregarlas también. Esto es de chi lights, bananas, en apples. It doesn't like just some potato. Strawberry bread. Pasta, I like pasta. Sí, va, pasta. I like pasta.
Tässä on live. Päästä. Ok. Eh, quisiera un voluntario que quiera compartir con nosotros sus oraciones. Un voluntario que le gustaría compartir con la clase eh, sus oraciones. One volunteer. Yo. Ok. Maybe. Eh, solo que no he terminado. Dos, cuatro, seis tengo. Ok. Ah, pues esas seis está bien. Eh, I don't like sugar. I like cheese and cream. She likes bananas and apples. She doesn't like broccoli. He likes pasta and he doesn't like lettuce. Very good. Okay, excellent, Maybelline. Uh, select somebody, Maybelline. Mi compañero Emerson. Emerson. Hi, good night. Um, Hello. Okay, este, I like pupusas. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like loroco. Uh, he likes pasta. I like shrimps. She doesn't like broccoli. I like Coca-Cola. I don't like eggplant. Uh, I don't uh -huh. like melon. And I like uh, pizza. All right, very good, Emerson. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do is continue on with the next activity. We're going to move forward to section 4.2, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn what countable and non-countable nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expressions some and any. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, <laughs> we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, 
Let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. So, van a hacer por lo menos 10 oraciones utilizando el any en negativo y el some en positivo. Por ejemplo, I need some eggs. Ese es positivo. I don't need. Eso es negativo. Any milk. All right. So me van a dar por lo menos cinco positivas y cinco negativas. Y las vamos a compartir aquí abajo en el discussion forum. En esta parte de acá. Así como lo ha hecho el señor Méndez. Okay. Lo vamos a trabajar juntos. Do you have any questions? Okay, vamos a tener 10 minutos en parejas. Let's go.
Hola, José. Veo que está entrando y saliendo. Se le cayó la red. Teacher, ¿me escucha? Sí, sí. Sí, lo, lo, no sé. Lo que pasa es que yo no sé si será porque está muy saturada la red, pero, pero sí, así me sucede, ¿no? La verdad, no, hasta el día de hoy no puedo encontrar un, una, una conexión bastante estable a la hora de, de, de que, de que dar las la conferencias, ¿verdad? Acá en, 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 en la plataforma. Ah, ok, ok, comprendo, comprendo. Uh -huh, sí, este, tiene bastante itinerancia, la verdad. Es que no sé si porque la mayoría de gente, dado que están en cuarentena, pasan solo conectadas, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque anteriormente en el módulo 1... No se me presentaba tanto este, este, este problema. Ah, ok. okay está bueno. uh -huh. Pero sí, o sea, en la plataforma sí estoy avanzando. Ok, eso es bueno. Uh -huh. That's good. Ok, los dejo chicos. See you later. En y marisco. Creo que así sería. Marisco, así se, así se, se dice también. Sí. Okay. Eh, marisco se dice seafood. Uh, seafood. ¿Cómo se escribe, teacher? Eh, C S E A y food F O O D. Seafood. Uh, seafood. Uh -huh. Okay. So I don't need any seafood. Okay. Um, I need some uh, broccoli. 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 Broccoli se escribe con dos C, ¿verdad? Quiero ver, broccoli. Creo que sí con dos C. Dos C lleva. Broccoli. Bro, brócoli. Sí, con doble C lleva brócoli. Con doble C, ¿verdad? Hay... ¿Qué otra cosa? Carne. carne. Ah, la carne. Creo que es como el pan que no se cuenta. Si no, si no me falla la memoria. Entonces, sí, eso no tendría que llevar. Que eso. En el grupo nosotros. Preguntémoslo. Teacher, una pregunta. Sí, sí. Eh, Tenemos un poquito de dudas con respecto a los contables y no contables. Sí. Eh, creo que hay un montón de, de cosas que no son contables. Y ahí el ejemplo del pan eh, es uno. Pero no sería la duda, por ejemplo, con la carne. Eh, I need some meat or meat? I, no, I need some meat. Es no contable. Es meat. no contable. Mm. Las cosas que no se pueden... Como, Agarrar, creo yo, que es lo que definen. Eh, bueno, Porque si lo puedo contar en libras, o ah, no sé, sí, ahí ah, nos confundimos un poco. Sí, no, lo que pasa es que, por ejemplo, por ejemplo el agua, por ejemplo. El agua Ajá, es pero, pero, contable, es no contable, porque es mucho, es demasiada agua. Pero contás las tazas, o contás el vaso, uh -huh. un vaso de agua, a cup of, of water, una libra de, de carne, a pound of meat. Eh, contás las, la, 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 el peso, pero la palabra es como dinero, por ejemplo, la palabra money es no contable. I need money, I need some money, pero contás dólares, one dollar, two dollars, pero no decís one money, two money, three money. Uh, okay. y, igual, igual la carne, o sea, contás el peso, one pound of meat. Pero, pero la palabra mi, mi es considerada no contable o espacio, por ejemplo, space es no contable. O la electricidad, por ejemplo, la electricidad es no contable, pero contás los kilowatts. 300 kilowatts of electricity. Ya. Yeah. O la gasolina, gas, es no contable, pero contás el galón, one gallon of gas. Two gallons of gas. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Ok. Ok, thank you. Yes. En el caso de, de este... Se me fue la pregunta. 
Ah, the nymph, eh, nymph sería con S también, o es un verbo irregular, no me recuerdo, tengo un vacío. Nymph, sí, ahí sí lleva, lleva la S, uh -huh, sí es. Sí. Va con la S. Si estás hablando en tercer persona, lleva la S. Ajá, ah, vale, está bien. Eh, ¿Cuántas lleva Emerson? Ahorita he hecho dos, cuatro, seis, siete. Ajá. Siete. Este, bueno, voy a terminar. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Ya terminamos? Hola. Buenas. Hola. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Hi Alex, va llegando. Yes teacher. Tiene ah, trabajo, estamos todavía. ah, ok. Mira, estamos trabajando en esta sección. En la sección 1.4.3. Usando el SAM y el ENI, tienen que escribir 10 oraciones. 5. Yes, esa. Sí, ahí te, esa la estuve trabajando hoy en la mañana. Hice unas oraciones por ahí. Ah, ok. Ah, pues está bueno. Sí, ahí tengo las de I need some eat, I don't need any oil, mm -hmm. I don't need any meat, okay. I don't need any fruit, uh -huh. she needs some bread, okay. she doesn't need any bread, okay. y así sucesivamente, ahí tengo varias, dice como unas okay. diez igual. perfect, perfect. Eh, unos tres minutos más los voy a dejar más trabajar en esto y de ahí vamos a seguir. Ok, ok, teacher. Ya las, ya las tengo. Dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, diez. Este. Pero la tengo para ver si no me han entendido. Hello, hello. Ok, quisiera un voluntario para que comparta con la clase sus oraciones. Un voluntario para que comparta sus oraciones. Ok, Emerson levantó la mano. Emerson puede empezar. Ok, um, I need some apples. Um, I need some yogurt. I don't need any beers. I don't need any onion. I need some chickens. He needs some grapes. She doesn't need any meat. I don't need any ice cream. I need some carrots. He needs some ketchup. And I don't need any ham. Okay, good job, Emerson. Excellent, Emerson. <coughs> okay, Emerson, seleccione a alguien más. Alex. Alex. Okay, Alex. 
Alex, okay. comparta sus oraciones. I don't need any seafood. I don't need any broccoli. I need some potatoes. I don't need any pastas. I don't need any garlic. A garlic. Garlic. I need some strawberries. I need some an apple. Okay. Okay. All right, that's good enough. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do is move forward and look at the following activity. Four point four. Complete the conversations with some or any. Van a completar las oraciones usando some y any. You have 10 minutes. Tienen 10 minutos. 10 minutos. We're going to work in pairs. In pairs. En la, en la uno, le, que le, ¿cómo le puso? Son o any. Son. Son, 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 Mm -hmm. sí, cambiamos de personaje, sea usted Adam. Ah, pero empieza desde arriba, le dice Amanda. Y voy a empezar yo entonces. Dice, me voy. 
Sí. Dice, the, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Uh, well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Es de las que yo pronuncié, pronuncié alguna mala. Es que es lo que más me cuesta. El, el Isan y mi, el, el toca. El speaking. No, no. Quizás lo único es lo de la entonación de la pregunta. Que, que ahí le dicen que tiene que exagerar. No, no se pregunta así como el salvadoreño. Ok. En español, ¿Do we have any mayonnaise? Así. Ajá, uh -huh. cabal, así, mayonesa. Oh, do, do we have any mayonesa? Ajá, uh -huh, cabal. Vale, yo fui este, a mandar otra vez. Es la única pregunta. ¿Ah? Yo soy a otra vez. The store. Bueno, ajá, se ha mandado usted. Ajá. Uh -huh. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Ok. Do we have. Perdón. Ok, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That's an apple. Go. Ajá, esa es la entonación de la pregunta. Quedó superado. Wow. ¿Qué nos va a sacar o nos vamos a la otra? No sé. Avanzamos, ya que estamos. Vale. Vamos a la siguiente. Dice. By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural difference in the food. What do you, what do you have for breakfast in conversation? Finish breakfast. Yo siempre me equivoco aquí en eat breakfast in have breakfast. Y yo siempre sé que tiene que ser con have. Sí, sí, es con have. Eh, fíjense que en las primeras, me acuerdo que en los primeros este, puntos o temas que vimos, habían muchas oraciones donde decía eat breakfast, eat lunch. Pero yo me acuerdo que no es así. Y aquí acabo de ver eso, que dice have for. Yo me acordaba que así es. Este, ah. que, ajá, o solo, ajá, ajá, half for lunch, o having lunch, está, no solo se dice comiendo almuerzo, sino teniendo el almuerzo, no sé cuál será la diferencia. Dice que mi niño tiene cuatro años y ahora hizo el examen en inglés y le preguntaba que qué comía en el desayuno, almuerzo y cena, pero en inglés, y, y tenía que seleccionar el muñequito, pero todo estaba con how, Have, have. What do you have for breakfast? Es que así me acuerdo, a menos que sea solo para pregunta el have. Preguntamos y que ahí. puedo responder por otra. Quiero ver puedo si no se me quedó el grupo. Ahí está. Hello, teacher. Hola. Hello, hello. We have a question. Yes. Eh, en algunos párrafos hemos 
me dice Emerson que ha visto que dice eat breakfast y yo lo he visto con have breakfast como está acá pero a veces para escribirlo nos confundimos eh, cuando usamos eat breakfast o have breakfast o eat dinner uh, o have breakfast sí, eh, es lo mismo puedes, puedes usar eat breakfast o puedes usar have breakfast las dos es lo mismo Sí, las dos son correctas. No, no, no se de, de defensean. Si tú quieres, de, tú quieres decir I eat breakfast o tú quieres decir I have breakfast, eh, es tu opción. No tiene diferencia. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ok, okay gracias. Hello, Hugo. Hola, teacher. Hi, Hugo. Sí, es que no se le escuchaba muy bien este, cuando estaba explicando. Ah, ok, ok. Pero ahorita sí, ya, ya. Ya se escucha. Sí, ya se escucha. Ok, thank you. We're going to look at fish for breakfast. Conversation practice. <coughs> Repeat, please. Let's have breakfast. Let's have breakfast. Breakfast. Together on Sunday. Together, Together on, Sunday. on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. Okay. Okay. To my okay. house. To my, to house. To my family always. Always. My family, my family always. 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 Has a Japanese style. Has a, a Japanese, Japanese style. style. Breakfast on Sundays. Breakfast on Sundays. Really? Really? What do you have? What do you have? We usually have. We usually have. Sorry. We usually have. We usually, we usually have, have, have. Fish. 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 Rice. Rice. rice and soup. And soup. And soup. 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 Um, fish, fish for breakfast. Fish, fish for breakfast. breakfast. That's interesting. That's, That's interesting. interesting. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a, a salad too. Sometimes we have a salad. A salad. And we always have green tea. And hey, we always eat green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. But I like to try new things. Okay, vamos a practicar el diálogo en pareja. 
ready, let's go. Los voy a cambiar de pareja. Let's go. Well, let's have some breakfast together on Sunday. The pato va ahora. Va. Okay, digan. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Going to my house, my family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? Mm, that's interesting. Permítame que ya no me dio la pantalla. Ahí no, no la veo, ahí la estoy compartiendo. Mm, no, no logro, no sí. logro que me dé la pantalla. Sí, paso. Va, hoy sí. Estamos en fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Oh, interesting. Uh, sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. 
Vale, hoy vamos a hacer cambio. Yo voy a hacer Sara. Vale. Let's, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Uh, come to my house. My family always has an exercise breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That is interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never. Empieza uh, usted. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new, new things. Okay. Excellent. Um, okay. Oh, what about you? Yeah. They have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to green to try new things. Okay. También ahora empezaría yo. Eh, let's have breakfast together on Sundays. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and so. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. Uh, why? okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yo ya he comido pescado para el desayuno. <risa> ah, de sí, varias veces. All right, all right. Let me have let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Okay, Alex, Alex Henriquez is, okay, Alex Henriquez is going to be Sarah, and em Emerson is going to be Kumiko, action. Let's have breakfast together from Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. All right, good job. Very good pronunciation, guys. Excellent pronunciation. Okay, gracias, thank you. 
All right, guys. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. We're finished. See you tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Everybody, bye-bye.